Uh, pe people seem to be just dying off left and right in this family, don't they? I guess we had to run away from a forest Even fire. Even in the 90s, why we left everything behind? Seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh, that's a that's a carpet. What the hell? Trying to make the bathroom look like it's underwater. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. Pretty damn pink. It was a pretty big trace. Yeah. Wow. Was it ever. That door. Oh, oh another locked book. Okay. The secret in this bathroom. <laughs> Good title for a book. There's a secret in this bathroom. Okay. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <laughs> this family is weird. Alvin Finch. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. I guess this is the kind of stuff you can do when you build your own house. You can do whatever the fuck you want with it. this kid ever sits up in the middle of the, of the night and just brains himself on that bridge. I don't want to know why all these bedrooms got sealed off. And why was Molly locked in her room? That That's bothering me. That's really weird. Find out. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that he never talked about him. Hmm. That looks like it might be a secret entrance. I don't want to open that up just yet. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Would love having a cool bedroom like this as a kid. to remember my brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Oh, we're in one of these scenes now unexpectedly. Okay. I'm leaving something unexplored. <laughs> okay. Nice. Do anything else other than swing right now? if I use both sticks. Okay. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Mushrooms are so good. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Whee! He knows that I had that day, He finally made up his mind to do it. Go! I Jump. told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Alvin, I'm not gonna tell you again! Branch gonna break? And picked up. Then maybe hmm. it could still be here. But I doubt it. 
I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Me. Hey. Am I gonna play out the deaths of all these kids? Ooh. The day he made up his mind to fly. Whoa! <laughs> Her splat. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. He died at 11. That's actually a shame, to be honest with you. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're going this way now. There's a nice touch, little squeak. Yeah. R.I.P. Kelvin. My basically Packages were a pretty tight fit. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Feels like this game is just about witnessing the deaths of all these family members. That was a shortcut. Shortcut to what? Oh. I don't know if I even want to be missing anything though. Is that the shortcut? I don't think I want the shortcut. I don't want to skip anything. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Apparently whoever made this did too. That's a weird secret passage. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Wait a minute. How old is this cake or pie or whatever it is? That's not food, is it? That, no, it is food. There's a bite missing out of it. How long has that food been sitting there? Oh, actually, I don't know what what year this game takes place in, so I don't even know. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale. Inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Cool. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. 
So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. <laughs> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your yeah. basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks. Oh. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes Interesting. later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. She reached for the music box. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Going to walkie now, okay? She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. You're beating somebody with this thing. Red handprint, always a good sign. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh, good! It's an anniversary murder. That thing is creepy as shit. Look at this thing. <laughs> Rise! It's a horror game now. Yeah, seriously. Alright, am I fighting Freddy or Jason? Who's for dinner tonight? Oh dear! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> oh. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. Figures. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... That's rude. You don't just keep a person's crutch. They need that. Uh, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Welcome back, Zalexia. Okay. Still armed. Probably not very dangerous. That's normal. Oh, now this is open. Walter, are you there? Walter vanished, but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island police described the man as six feet tall, with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned. Saw the hook man and was speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> when he heard he was, he couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara, there's got to be another way out of here. Darn stalkers. Okay, another way out. No. No. Alright, where's our secret passages? Here we are. That night, she 
played her part beautifully. They eat those berries now? She thought about abandoning Walter, but just couldn't do it. Is he here? Get him! Get him! Bye! He wasn't moving, but she sensed the story might not be over yet. I get something better than a crutch to beat this guy with. Man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Well, it's definitely a bad idea to go and check that, but I think I'm supposed to, so let's do it. Someone at the door was dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door. She heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. <gasps> oh dear. Oh dear. Surprise! Bravo! You were wonderful! The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara. It was a dream come true. Yay, I'm not she going saw to die. What kind of <laughs> monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As Smart kid. Barbara tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> Alright, Crypt Keeper, go away. Get lost. Creepy. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. I mean, it's 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 a form of being remembered. Okay. Is there anything else in here that I didn't do? Does not look like it. Okay. That's sealed up with caulking again as well. Okay, let's try that that shortcut now. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. That's no more noticeable from this angle. Whenever people ask me about my family, <clears throat> the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. This guy. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. And how many people could have freaking Norse god as a grandfather, huh? It's funny. 
All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. I don't know if there's anything else I can look at before I do that. I don't think so, though, because we've already been through all this area. Okay, so... Box. Oops. And my family is weird. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Another one? I have all of the tetanus shots, please. However many they have, just give them all to me all at once. Stick I saw ten needles in my arm. Down to the basement once, carrying packages. Sneaky grandma. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Grandma a smuggler? Maybe an eldritch cultist? Is this where the human sacrifice happens? Our offerings to Great Show of Nigaroth? once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Possibly Dagon? If there's a pattern in all these stories... You can yellow, maybe? I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Yeah, I don't want to look at that. I want to look at this. Okay, well, that was exciting. Why do we have this? Yeah, that's going to be the story of Walter when we do that. So let's... Look around here. Ooh, what's down there? I guess we should do the Walter story before we go down there. Oop. Big window. Okay. Oh, the bomb shelter or something? And yeah, Red Banning, that is what it sounds like. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaving started, That was a bad time to leave my controller on the desk. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. I'd probably go absolutely fuck nuts Having if I was stuck in a bomb shelter. Living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster it tunes, on the other though. side of a door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. Got <laughs> the writing on the lid. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just can't got tired working. of being afraid. Broke and you couldn't eat anymore? I hope he's got spares. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. Look, even this little guy I looks sad. Well, I still can. We'll have the fake view here, yep. 
Yeah, they want me to go that way, but I just want to see if there's anything I can look at this way. I can't get past the stool. Okay. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara... ...and Molly... ...and Calvin. Calvin killed himself. Maybe this is all a mistake. By accident, but... But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. I like the symbolism of smashing those words with the hammer. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. Alright, I guess I can't look around that room anymore. Probably wasn't anything else in there anyway, though, to be honest with you. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. For the five years I have I left to live. A single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Oh. That what was causing the shaking was the daily train. It's just on a different schedule now. Was I hiding from a train for 30 years? Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. We got all these train sets in here. I'm supposed to go there, I'm pretty sure, but let's just... I don't think there's anything else to do in here. <laughs> all along, it was the Eldritch Abomination, Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah, probably was, Doggo. Probably was. Seriously, was this guy hiding Maybe in a bomb shelter for 30 years? Walker. Hiding from a train. Because goddamn. She never told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the Ooh. same mistakes she made. Ooh, open can garbage pit. That's where I poop too. I want Walter poop because I'm not in Walter's head anymore. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. That we, we made, made it, it happen. Yeah, exactly. We made the curse real by believing in it. Oh, shit. I mean, why would there even be a train, a train rail, uh, a railroad line that goes under our house in the first place anyway? They build this to make it seem like there was, and then delude themselves into believing it. I don't know if I should even be writing this. That's what it is. My family has been driven insane because we're Maybe it'd be better Shub -Nigroth if all this cultists. Just died with me. Worshipping Shub Nigroth has driven us insane. Right, I'm gonna leave it here for just a second and uh, get a refill. I'll be right back. 